Hi, it's Harry here with Bead Attic Sharn, and today we are going to be making the eye of our minion inspired hat. Now, this hat is uh, the eye is crocheted, the hat itself is made on an Addy King knitting machine. You can also use a um, a prim or innovations knitting machines. Uh, our pattern for the entire hat is on our website at www.beadaddictsyarn.com and um, but today we're just going to be focusing on the eye but I wanted to see show you the finished product um, and that's what he's going to look like when he's all finished but let's get started with the eye now I'm going to show you um, I'm going to take you to one point and if you wish you can stop there or I'm going to take you on a little bit further so that we make like a double wall here or a double edge on our um, on the eye to give the goggle part of the eye a little bit more definition and um, if you don't want to do that that's that's fine this is just my preference so that's how I'll teach you but we're going to need our the colors of the yarn that I used in the project are on the pattern itself and we're also going to be using a G crochet hook. So we're going to start off with our black and the instructions for our magic circle or magic loop are on the uh, instructions and there's a video, uh, I have a YouTube video um, under Bead Addicts Yarn uh, for making this. but. The key thing is when you make your magic loop, when you pull on your end, it should make the loop smaller. Okay, uh, we need that so that we can tighten up our the opening in the center here so we don't see anything through there. So we're going to start off. We are going to chain two. There we go. And then we are going to make 11 half double crochets in our circle or loop. Okay. And a half double crochet is, let's get up a little bit closer. You go under into the loop, pull up. You got three loops on your hook. And then you yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. Okay, and I lost my count already. So that was one, two, three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 and 11. Okay, now we're going to cinch this up a little bit. And we're going to be going on to our white. So we're going to add that. We go into the top of our chain two. And then we're going to grab our white and pull that through. Okay. Pull on our black working yarn to make that a little bit tighter. Pull on our white and then we can start with a chain. And when I do my first chain, I include both the, the tail end and the working end just to kind of lock everything in there. Now we can go back here and we can cut our black. And we want to pull on our tail, on our the center pull. We want to pull that real, real tight because we want that so that you can like, if you can get it tight enough that you can't see anything in there. And sometimes you gotta really tug on it. But I want it nice and tight. And then we'll just tie the two black ends off. nice and tight okay now we 
can continue on here. I'm going this way. <laughs> So we are going to chain one, or we got one, chain two, and then we are going to work two half double crochets into each stitch. So, and it's really hard to see. We're going the wrong way. There we go. Let's get going in the right direction here. <laughs> okay, so that's why it was hard hard for you to figure out where I was going. So two half double crochets in the first stitch, two in the next stitch, and I like to um, carry or hide my tail end in there so that we, just one less thing we have to worry about when we're all done. So you just keep doing two half double crochets all the way around and I'll be back when we get to the end. Okay, and we're coming up on our last two half double crochets in this round. Okay. So now we're going to uh, slip stitch into our chain two here. Oh, but we want to bring our next color in, which is our gray. Okay. So when we do that, we're going to pull our gray through, okay? And we can cut off our white. And then we can just tie them onto the gray or the uh, one of the black tails or whatever, okay? So now on this round, we are going to be working in the front loop of our work, which is, don't know if you can see, it's actually the top, the top thread here. Okay, when you look at your work, it's that top, that top thread right there. See, if you look, look at your work this way, you can see there's a bottom one and there's a top one. And we're going to be working only in the top, and we're going to be doing single crochets. All the way around in the front loop. See how that looks from here? Okay. And then it's actually bringing this stitch up to the front or giving it some some dimension here and we're going to do this all the way around and I'll be back when I get to my last stitch okay we're coming up on our last single crochet here and we are going to be doing our next round let's join here and the top of our first stitch we're going to be doing something a little bit different and I don't know if there's even a name for it so I am going to call it a diagonal front post single crochet and what we're going to do is in our next stitch here we're going to go through both loops on the top like you would in normal in normal single crochet and then we're going to come around the back now usually when you do a front post single crochet you go in the top of the one around the back into the top of the next one like that so that just that sing that single crochet is there but we're going to be going on a diagonal so we're going in the front and then we're coming in the bottom of the stitch down here as opposed to up here and it's going to bring everything up to the front a little bit more now if you don't want to do this and you just want to leave your eye the way it is it still has some dimension you can leave it just like this 
without doing this extra row. But I like the extra row. I think it gives it more of a, a goggle look because that's what they're supposed that's what this is supposed to be is his goggles so um i just think it gives it some more dimension but let's uh, let me show you this again so we're going to go into the stitch if i can find it there it is okay into the top of the stitch like you normally would but then we're going to come around the back and come in through the bottom part of the next stitch and then we're going to complete our single crochet Let me get a little bit more yarn here <laughs> okay so we're going to go back into the top around the back and into the bottom of the stitch and complete our stitch and as you can see it's a lot thicker here than it is over here. This is just our single crochet. And this is our single crochet with our diagonal front post single crochet on top of it. Okay. So again, we're going into, into the top two stitches okay and then coming around the back now here's our top two stitches here and I'm going to keep my finger here so you can see it and then we're going to come into the bottom of the next stitch and then go around and we're just going to do this all the way around. Oops, I missed a stitch there. Okay, into the top, into the bottom, and there. And then you do that all the way around, and I'll be back when I get to the last stitch. Okay, we are coming up on our last one here. Oops. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do a seamless end, I think it's called, on, um, on this. So if we were to go into our um, the top of our first stitch here, it wouldn't be, and just do a, um, a slip stitch, it's not going to be nice and smooth the stitch isn't going to continue it's not going to be a, a finished look so we're going to do something a little different here and we're going to cut our yarn okay and then this is our last stitch that we did here so we're going to pull it through and then we're going to go in through the first two stitches of our first stitch and we're going to take our tail and pull it through there okay and then we are going to come up here's our last stitch here okay we're going to come up through the bottom of the last stitch and grab this end and pull this through and when you do it this way, there is no beginning and there is no end on your stitches. Okay, and then you can just, like I would, pull this through further and then fasten it off and tie it off. But that's our eye. And um, I hope it was helpful. And... Um, have fun. Okay, thanks.